Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and as you can see I'm on the Jewel's Peaceful Valley map and in this building here is the Cow Barn and if you roll up in this scene graph you'll find it Cow Barn Big and as you can see that shows where the cows will be and I've already situated the ground and we're going to I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to make the cow barn work and have all of it uh, the doors and everything go and uh, all this area the fence come down and the cows come in so we're going to go ahead and get started I've already situated I, I could have put this further out and I may still do it but I was I was trying to uh, keep it all one level so once I did it come up to here so I might leave it like that I'm not sure yet I'm not really finished with all the groundwork but we're going to go ahead and do this. Someone uh, requested it. A subscriber wants some help. So I wanted to go ahead and get it done. Since I'm working on all these things anyway. i got to add this one. I'll do a video on that for y'all. Of course eventually that. And then the chickens. And then the horses. And the sheep. So if you need those things they're coming. So just stay tuned. And we're going to get started. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like these videos. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. Helps the channel grow and I appreciate every single one of you. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the map you're working on. You're going to get your building and I'll go ahead and show you where you can get it. Go ahead and hit file. Click import. Go to wherever your game is installed. Mine's on D drive. Yours might be on C drive or somewhere else. I don't know. Now my 19 farming simulator is in C drive and I'll show you that path in case it helps you get to yours your 22 or whatever so you click on C drive you click on program files 86 in this case double click and then you roll down and I have steam and you might have it uh, some other way I don't know so depends on how you have it I really don't know if you don't have it with steam I'm really not sure what you do I, I have mine with steam so you're gonna double click on steam you're going to double click Steam Apps, Common, double click, and then there you go. PharmaSim 19 is here, 22 isn't, but you could click it and then go on through Data. And then you would go, go on through to wherever it would be. And in this case, it's not going to be the same, so I can't take you there. So we're just going to back on out and go to D Drive, where mine is. And we're going to go to Steam Library, double click, Steam Apps, double click, Common, double click, Farming Sim. 22 double click data excuse me and data and let me see uh, placeables and where are we at lizard okay and then you have the cow barn let me see maybe in a different one hang on okay so this is not it we're going to back up to here. And you're going to go under this one, Rudolph Horman. Now, you can go in there. That does have one. It has this small one. Um, you can do that. Let's see. And you have a pig small and so on. So, we're going to go back. We're going to go ahead and do this one, uh, the Rudolph Horman one. And then you're going to see there's a cow barn big. Um, you have a medium. You, then you have a chicken barn and so on. You have all these. Okay. And we're just going to pick the big one. In this particular case. Um, we'll, you'll click on it. Double click on it. Click on this right here. You don't have to click on that one. Click the I3D. And then click open. It's going to bring it in the map. You're going to hit control B as in boy. Left mouse click. And left mouse click. And put it wherever you want. So but you you don't necessarily want to drag it where you want you can you will be moving it a little bit but preferably try to do most of the work with control B as in boy left mouse click left mouse click and then get on in there closer and try to do like if you got to go up or down now you want to come look at the bottom see that's too high and you're going to want to move it see this here's in the air so just go on and move it into place and then figure it out where you want it and make sure when you're setting it down that there's no grass in here see if you go too low see how that grass is going to get in there i don't think you can see it from here 
See how there's grass there? Let me get closer where you can see. See, and you don't want that. You want to make sure that it's not in there. So you need to, to try to watch that, okay? And obviously you would have flattened it and whatever. And then made it out further or whatever, okay? And point it the direction that you want this these animals. And that's what we did. Now, I'll, once you've done that and you've got it all exactly where you want it, if you have a placeholder's folder, like I have here, you can take this, if you've already done it and got it exactly where you want it and you're not going to move it again, now make sure you do it, you know, it's better to do it, at, go on and get it where you want it. You can technically move it in there, but I like to get it where I want it, then throw it in the placeholders. Then you're going to hit the scroll wheel, and then you'll drag it up and put it in the placeholders folder, which I'm not going to do because that's not what I want in there. Okay, so then you would save it, so you'll have that uh, in there for now. You eventually uh, will be adding these numbers to XML, okay? So I'm going to delete this one. Let me move up, because I've already got one, so I'm going to delete that. And this one, I'm going to go on and move it to the placeholders folder, Okay. And the reason you're putting it in the placeholders folder is if you don't, you're going to have to delete it after you add the XML numbers to the XML, the placeable XML. If you don't delete it, if you don't put it in the placeholders folder, it's going to have two buildings in the game. It's going to mess you up. It's not going to work. You're going to be upset. So just remember, if you don't have a placeholders folder, make one. I have a video about that. I showed it in another video as well so just look at uh the placeholders folder and you'll see how to do that and i'm going to go ahead and minimize this part so it looks a little cleaner and as you can see now i have that one in there and i already was satisfied where i put it so my numbers are going to be fine and everything's ready to go and now i won't have to delete it at the end of this after i add my numbers because i put it in the placeholders folder now what we're going to do is going to go in game Okay, I can save it. Let me save it. Let's save it. I always save when you do something important so you don't mess up and forget and make a mistake. Now, we're going to go in a game and we're going to get the same building that we put there and put it on a map and then we're going to save it so we can get the information. Okay, so we're going to speed on through all this. I always like to go to this one so I remember which one I'm working from. That's why I've been doing the same one pretty much. All right, going in the map that you want to get it from. Now, you don't have to go in the same map that you're working on to get the information, but I'm going to go in the same map, so just just because, you know. But anyway, I hope everybody's enjoying. Uh, appreciate everybody. Uh, if you like these videos, feel free to share them. It helps uh, other people learn new things on the Farming Simulator uh map stuff and just different things so if you haven't seen the channel before i i do have some simulator games so check them out that's on playlist all right so we didn't get i didn't move move the career start point as per usual so we're going to get a truck and drive to the property uh you should move your career start point wherever you're working but i, I forgot to do it but we can drive there, so it's no big deal. Y'all might like to see this area anyway. Alright, hope the sound is okay. not finished or nothing I'm just getting some ideas of what I'm gonna do here but we're obviously not going to put it there 
I'm gonna throw it in the bottom of this hill. You're gonna hit escape. You're gonna go ahead, get your money, and we'll just, I'll just use the keyboard. And get enough to buy it. Go on and get a bunch. It's gonna be pretty costly for a cow uh, barn. Trying to hurry. Get a whole bunch. Alright, that should be enough. Hit escape. Hit P. P is in Peter. And click on those three lines. Click on construction. Double click it to open it. Click on animals. Cows. And then pick the building that you chose. Which in my case would be this building. And then hover over here. And you can see you can lay it down. And as you can see, wherever you put it, it's going to change your ground, obviously. But don't worry about that, because we're putting it where we want it in a, in a specific spot. So it's not going to matter. It's not going to change it. Left mouse click and hit escape. Escape. And as you can see, here we go. And... I ain't going to, I'm not going to buy anything, but I'm going to just show you the doors. See, that's what will happen. They'll work, and they'll have all this stuff in here. But, um, you have the cows uh, will be out here. But we're not going to buy any because you'll have that information. You don't want that in there at first because you want it to be empty. So, that's our building. And we're going to go ahead and exit to go save the game and remember which save game you entered it under so i was under 15 remember so whatever number you went in at that's what you're gonna go look at so we're gonna leave hopefully that sound wasn't too loud all right it sounds loud to me but i, I think it sounded okay in the video on the last one so if, if it's too loud just let me know and i'll try to get the change it in game if you know so it won't be so loud all right so now we're going to go over to the file explorer and we're going to go to documents my games double click that pharmacy 22 and double click and roll down to save game 15 or whichever one you pick okay double click it go down to placeables click on it left click on it once right click on it once and then hit edit with notepad plus plus you're going to roll to the bottom of the list and you'll find your cow barn big it'll say dot xml that's what we want okay so now you're going to come down here and as you can see right here it doesn't show any cows that we bought and the age and all that other information because we didn't buy any and that's for good reason we want it to show this stuff and not all that extra stuff okay in this particular region uh we don't want all that so we want it to be where you buy it once you're in the game not it already be there necessarily so it, well, at least that's what i want on this one uh you're going to click here at the end of this placeables with the forward slash not the bottom one just this one going to highlight all the way up to here so basically you held down the left mouse button and you drug it over and then you let go right there while this is highlighted you click in that highlighted area the right mouse button and then you click left click on copy okay then you click off of it in the white area and then you can close that one down now i'm going to minimize this we're going to click on farm sim 22 up here and we're going to come down to mods double click and then you're going to go to the map you're working on and then you're going to find the xml or whatever wherever your placeables is if if your placeables is not in an xml like mine is in this xml folder and it's right here if yours isn't and yours looks something more like this and then maps maps us then look in there and you'll find your placeables uh document your xml document and then you can do it from there okay so that's where that one is if you need that so I'm going to go back to where mine is, okay, and open it up. I'm going to left click, right click, edit with notepad plus plus. And as you can see, we already have a chicken one, but we're really going to delete them too. And as you see this chicken one here, see how it says clusters, animal, chicken type? 
number of animals, one, age, health, etc. That's that line was in this particular one because I had a bought a chicken in there, and that's why I added it. But if you want it to be where they buy it, you're going to want it to look like this with all zeros and it's not been done. This is another chicken one. So there's an example of two different ways it can look, and you'll know that that's why it looks that way. If you bought one, that's why it has this here. Okay, so you're going to click at the end of this here at the bottom of this list, uh, or you could click above it. Just depends on where you want to put it. Um, we could put it there and knock this one down lower, whatever. It really don't matter. Um, but if you're trying to organize your area, you w might want to adjust it more differently. And you can always move this one up to the top later if you want. But I'm going to hit, make sure it's the forward slash one and you're not doing it in front of any of, the, any of these, knocking these down. Keep them, keep them where you know that this section is that section. You're not cutting in the middle of it and and because then you'll paste it and it'll mess everything up, okay? You want it to be at the end of it. Hit enter, and then right click at the beginning, hit paste, and it pasted it in, and as you can see, it moved it all down. This is number nine ID. Make sure you don't have any other nine IDs, and if you don't, you're good to go. You can leave it. If you do, you need to change it or could get rid of it entirely. I don't think there's any problems with that. And also, you're going to slide over here. And as you can see up here, the default pro farm property true. You're going to take that, if it'll let me. It's just wanting to be a pain. Let's go back over. Okay, quit pulling me back to the beginning. What are you doing? Okay, you're going to click at the end here. And grab that. Right click and click copy. Then you're going to go to the one you just added, the cow barn. You're going to click right at the end of there, right between that, right in front of this little uh, greater or less than sign. And then you're going to hit paste. Then you're going to click here and hit space to get that separated. You're going to scoot over make sure you don't have two of those uh, end, end points. Uh, and you're good. Okay. It already has form ID 1. I'm not worried about changing the price or anything like that. And we're good on all that. All we need now is we need to go ahead and add the, the location that we want it. So we're going to come back to the Giants Editor, hover over it, click on it. Make sure you've highlighted the cow barn with this particular spot, cow barn big, the main group. Open it up, make sure that it's, you got the top parent uh, of the group. And you can come over here to Translate X, click at the end of the numbers the very end of all the numbers and then hit shift control and C as in cat and you're going to hover back over here to your notepad plus plus going to find your cow one make sure you look and see if it's the right one drag click on the your left mouse button here and drag hold it down drag it over let go right here right click and click paste okay there's many ways of doing it I'm just showing you that way okay so then you go back over here, click on the end of the numbers at the rotate X, shift control C, as in, as in cat, and go back to the uh, notepad plus plus, go to the rotation, hover over it, and get them, right click and hit paste. Now you can go hit save, and you are done. Okay, you got all that, everything's good. So you can minimize that. As far as I know, I've already saved this. I could move the career start point. Um, and I'm not going to show you everything ab about everything uh, else, like loading and all that. I'm just going to show there's buy some animals, and that's going to be the end of the video. But what I'm going to do is remove move the career start point here. So hit, click on the career start point, highlight it, hit Control B as in boy, left mouse click, left mouse click. Spin it around to make the blue face the building because that's going to be where you're going to be facing. And then you're going to hit save. And now we're going to go ahead and get on in there and do our thing. But before we go in the game, we're going to go back to the where we got the uh, animals. So let me find Steam Library. Sometimes it's hard to find. 
get go through all the steps I showed you. Steam apps, uh, Steam library, Steam maps, Steam common, FS22 data, placeables, and then Rudolph Foreman, and then you're gonna double click it. Now under this cow barn big, you're gonna double click it, and you're gonna see all this information. It's got the store information, the images. Uh, it's got the mesh. It's got the i3d the mesh it's got the uh, shape file everything it's got the xml it's got the xml for the cow barn it's got the i3d everything so when we put that in the placeables folder we hid our i3d basically when we did that so that that building in there now wouldn't show up if i didn't add this to the xml so now that XML I just put in the placeables, you just put in the placeables, it's going to call this. And I'm going to click back on it and show you. Okay. So you see what it says? Data, placeables, Rudolph Foreman, Cow Barn Big, Cow Barn Big dot XML. Now I'm going to go back to that folder and show you. Data, placeables, Rudolph Foreman, Cow Barn Big, and then Cow Barn Big xml so it called this right here if you open it with uh edit with notepad plus plus you'll see it's got the information the store items it's got the pictures it's got all the information it needs tells it what to do it's a, it's a, it tells it to call the i3d that one we saw in the in the file folder so when it says call that it's saying oh, excuse me it's saying let me minimize that all right it's saying call this i3d so that right there is saying call the i3d from this xml of the main uh, in the main farm area it's calling this one that's what that one's doing so if you'll roll on down let's minimize um, you can see it's got all this other information and it's got all these xml's it's telling it to go to data, shared, assets, marker, marker icons, XML to get all that information. So it's going to do that on its own without you having to do all this. It's got the action of opening those doors right here. It's got all this information, closing it and everything. It's got all kind of information it needs to put all that in there. So see all this? It's going gonna, it's gonna to tell it to call all these things. So then you see here it's got the light switch. It's going to say call that from this I3D. It's going to tell it to go here to call the control panel I3D. It's going to tell it to go here to do this. Every little thing. Okay. As you can see. And then last it's got this the cow barn big navigation mesh I3D. Which we can show you. Is right here. The I3D. So it's telling it to come in here. And call all this stuff and all and other stuff other places. So that's what that's doing. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and close this one out because we don't want to erase anything. We've already saved. We're going to go in the game and go ahead and do it. So anyway, we're going to test it in game. All right. As soon as this thing loads. And we can go to 15 and delete it because because we don't need it. We already did what we needed. And we can hit continue, continue, go to the map you worked on, start, and go on in. And it should put us right where we need to be. Hope that helps you understand the XML just a little bit more. Uh, it's basically going to the main game for all this information for you so you don't have to put all this in your map um, and and it makes a bigger file size if you have to put it in your map and all that now you can do custom ones I'm not saying you can't I'm just showing some simple ones for some beginners so because they need to get their stuff in there and they you know so you got these doors are open close them and close and open these doors and it's calling all that from that XML got your field here it put down the grass here so 
it, it does all that. Let's go ahead and buy one or two cows. Hit R. We're going to pick one of these and hit select. And we'll buy a couple of these. Buy, yes, okay. We can buy, we'll just buy five of these. Yes. And we could do these. Should be okay. We'll do, go ahead and do these. All right, we should have five of each of basically all those. We'll come over here, and there's our cow. They're very loud. <laughs> and here's our pond. There's our cow. And as you can see, it works. And I'm not going to do all the these things because I don't want to take up that much time. But basically, here's where your animal health, food, milk, straw, slurry. You got this. All this open. You got a spot here to dump. Now you can see it looks like I went, I didn't go, uh, actually it's probably okay I hadn't added any um, straw. So. Then you have this here. These doors don't open. But anyway, you got this where I made it where they can go on in. There's the cows in here. They obviously blocked this off. This kind of looks weird. I don't. That's just how they made it. I don't know why they did. And then you have the other areas they can get in. You can open that. But anyway, we got all these crazy cows, and now it works. So anyway. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.